Rodriguez are on an 11 game winning streak. Are you kidding me? When a winning streak is in double digits, it changes the mind of all the skeptics of this team. You got to love the way these guys have been playing. And here's a look at our Star Watch comparison. And of course, here's our starting lineup. Wow, Brad, look at the matchup at the small forward position. That's the price of admission itself. Two skilled players who can really play. And now for the tip. And we're off and running into the first half. The Hoyas are currently ranked number 19 in the country, Dick. They play together as a team. They share the basketball, they move the ball, they good player movement as well, and that's why they're efficient offensively. And they go into their motion offense, working with four around one here. I love the four around one, especially when you got a big guy who can pass the ball exceptionally well, as well as score. Now you've got to give help on him, and it leaves people. That layup will count for two, plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball, going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. And there are his per game averages. Hey, the numbers can be nice, but they can also be deceiving. You never want to judge someone purely by their averages, no matter how high or low they may seem. Makes it. Look at that spacing. Lobs it. He finished out with a beautiful alley-oop, Brad. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Going back to a man-to-man -man defense now. The center with the ball. For two, it sticks. The Hoyas have really made some progress in recent times. Hey, they sure have, Brad, but I guarantee you that they want to continue on this trend. On the wing, throws it up, tries for two. He gets the bucket to fall. So defense right now. Got to move with each pass. Sometimes a skip pass, very effective against the zone. They're working around the arc. Goes up for two. Makes the shot. 2-3 zone, got to get that wing, got to get that gap. There he is, strips the ball loose. Pushing in transition for the bucket. Sinks the shot. On the outside. From downtown. Can't connect. For two. Goes in. The Friars got some good ball reversal there. You know, Brad, when you move the ball like that, defenses get off balance and out of position. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tries a three, 10 to shoot now. When you can pass and score like he does, it makes a coach's job a little bit easier, wouldn't you say, Dick? What's great about him is his ability to pass and score. It's a skill that not enough guards have. As a coach, you love having this type of player on your roster. Tries for two, gets it to fall. Strong with a ball and strong with a finish. Well, those aggressive moves to the basket are what this offense is all about. Goes up for two. He buries it. Coach is trying to get the players to think defense now. Had a momentary look from three-point land. 
He shoots the jumper. Gets the J to fall. Around eight minutes remaining on the game clock. Moving it around the perimeter. Backcourt violation. Carelessness with the ball is never a good thing. Gives it up. Ball down low. Puts it on the floor. Turn around a fadeaway. And there's what the game tempo is looking like tonight. A little half-court action and a little fast breaking, Brad. As a result, we have a balanced tempo reading. Kicks it out. He can't get any more open than that. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Going back to a man-to-man -man defense now. And now getting set up here in a four-round one. Well, you know, the key, as you said, Brad, is motion. You have to have good movement on the perimeter to set up the guy on the inside. And everything's keyed about the entry to the post player. When he gets the ball, you can run backdoor cuts. You can run screens. You can run back screens. You can do a lot of things on the perimeter, get open layups off the key, getting the ball to the big guy on the interior. About seven minutes remaining on the game clock. Another turnover. We're not talking out with turnovers either. What a shot. How did that go in from that far out? Falling back into a man-to-man -man defense, Dick. Number 30 is called for the foul. First personal foul. Here we go. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He attempts the jump shot. Nails the jumper. On the outside. Alley oop. Looking to move it around the perimeter. About six minutes remaining for the bucket. Gave it up. Now on the run. Number 30 picks up the defensive foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. Number 10 is going to the line. First one is no good. Misses the second. Now the rebound. Then they've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Number four receives the ball. The Friars in transition. Number 10 is charged with the foul. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a burst of foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. With the pair. He missed it. the second shot. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. For two, well, he'll want that one back. He gets the board. Number four is whistled for the foul. 
Well, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. They have one of the toughest things to get in sports, experience. Experience is so important, Brad. See situations and knowing how to react to them correctly and quickly is a great, great thing. Working it around the perimeter. Lobs it. They work the perimeter. Tries for two. It's good. The Friars are a balanced team, playing both up-tempo and half-court style. They're they try to really get balanced in that they'll get some points with tempo by creating a little fast pace and then slow it down and executing their half-court set, getting high percentage shots. Number one handles the feed. Throws it up. Goes up for two. That's good. Going back to a man-to-man -man defense now. Up and inside! Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. We're at the four-minute mark for the bucket. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. I think a 1-3-1 zone defense is the call. The Friars set up in their zone motion. Number two gets the ball. And come up short. Providence is in the bonus. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. He'll visit the charity strike. This is the first. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I'll tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. Looking for a good shot. For two. Off the glass and no good. Looks like you're going to drop into a 1-3-1 zone defense here. Cross court. And we'll head back down to the other end. You know, Dick, this guy's really elevated his game today. I tell you, Brad, he's been awesome, baby. He's a PT peer. I tell you, what a great performance. On the left side. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Three minutes left on the game clock. He goes for three. The missed shot. Number two receives the pass. Falling back into a zone, a 1-3-1 half-court zone. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Now in transition. Tries for two. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the corner. Off the mark. Goes up for two. For the bucket. Great shot. 
Look at him move the ball, Dick. Hey, coach has to be happy with the offensive execution. Some great ball reverses giving him some open looks right now, Brad. They're working around the perimeter for two. Off the glass and no good. Number 11 takes the feed. Miss after miss after miss. Dick, their shooting has been horrid. Well, you know, they're not concentrating, Brad. They've got to lock down on the rim and shoot the ball with confidence. Off the glass and no good. Well, whose team Temple went out? That's a question right here, Dick. You know, Brad, Temple is always important. Every team has their philosophy, and it's up to the players to follow the game plan. Trying to pack it inside. Number 22 picks up the foul. First personal foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled him to prevent the easy basket. Well, Dick, here's a player in just his freshman year. Hey, being a student in college is quite an experience, but being a student athlete is something on a whole other level. There are a lot of challenges you have to meet if you want to keep your balance and be successful. Gets two at the charity strike. Number 21 is put back in the game. Hey, this team easily comes apart without him out there, Brad. The power forward takes the pass. Fires away. It almost looks like they got a lid on the goal, Dick. Nothing has fallen for them. Confidence has got to be an issue now, Brad. They aren't shooting the ball with any confidence whatsoever. It's Brick City, USF. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Count the hoop. That's goaltending. I think a 1-3-1 zone defense is the call. Goes up for two. Makes it. Now they work it around the perimeter. He fires it up. Busts the jumper. Shot clock is dead. Looks like they're going with a 1-3-1 zone. Stolen away. Now looking to attack. For the bucket, he drains it. You can just blink and this guy's already got 20 on you. This man is a scorer. Hey, one way or another, this young man creates ways to score. He's on from the moment he laces up his shoes. Ball's gonna stay down here. The offense begins off the sideline inbounds. In the dying moments, misses from three-point land. At the end of the first half, the Hoyas lead by three. Georgetown had an awesome first half shooting the ball, Dick. Can we expect more of that in the second half, you think? Hey, with the composure they're showing on the floor, Brad, I wouldn't doubt it. This is a very methodical team. Number 10 comes back into the game. I tell you, they need their leadership out there. This kid's got leadership skills just like you, Mr. Nessler. Out on the left wing for two. Off the glass and no good. Off the mark. Gave it up. The Hoyas are going to the big dance this season. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of the other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. Both teams looking to get things going here. Falling back into a zone, a 1-3-1 half-court zone. The shooting guard gets the ball. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Tries for two, and he misses the shot. He gets the shot to fall. They 
working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Scorches the net. Looks like they're going to drop into a 1-3-1 zone defense here. Look at that spacing. For the bucket, he gets it to fall. They're working around the arc. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. It's crazy in here, Brad. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Stolen ball. He puts it up there. And we've got a change in possession here. These guys have really been able to step it up so far, and they're putting together a very good team effort. It's been great to watch them move the ball like that, and they're doing all the things it takes to win. They're committed to playing good team defense, and when your team is doing those type of things, you're smiling as a coach. Looks like they're trying to switch things up by showing a 1-3-1 zone. On the outside. Out of bounds, and a change in possession. This one's coming in from the baseline. Loose ball, kept in. He dribbles the ball out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. It's stolen. alley -oop. He up fakes. Two. Nice shot. Falling back into a zone, a 1 3 1 half court zone. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented courts like they have. Yeah, that helps. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brian, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. Here's another solid junior, Dick. He's been around for a couple of years now. He knows what is capable of bringing to the team. This is a year when players start to transition into more of a leadership role and help get the most out of younger guys on the team. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. MBN. On the dribble, gives it up. Turn around, jumper. The jumper won't go. He pulls up with a jumper. Missed the jumper. Number four takes the feed. Momentary look from three-point land. A little two-man action. Dick, they're going to have to sit him down. You've got to learn to defend without fouling. When you get into foul trouble, you're almost useless to your team. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits a foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. He steps up to the line. He makes the first. He makes the second. Moving it around the perimeter. Knock loose. Nick, what's your biggest knock on a 2-3? Well, the knock is that a good shooting team will light you up, especially from three-point land. With the J. Off 
the mark. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. In the lane, nails a sweet jumper. Balanced teams, Dick, what are some of the things that they'll try to accomplish when they step out on the court? You know, balanced teams will definitely give you a combination of the two styles. Some teams will play up-tempo on offense and be half-court oriented at the defensive end. Other balanced teams may play in the half-court offensively and really look to pressure their opponents in the full court. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Number 15, pump fakes. He shoots from left of the circle. Can't connect. On the right side. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. On the outside, seven minutes left on the game clock. Number 15 gets the pass. He looks for three. Nails the J. That's taking it strong to the hoop, right, Nick? Great job of using the bounce to get to the rim. Not too many defenses that can stop that move. Let's take another look at this deep three. Out on the wing. There's a double team waiting there. He gets the layup to go and the foul. What a hoop. He saw the defender coming and tried to go right through him. Steps to the line for an easy one. He gets it to go. ESPN's coverage of the NCAA will continue after this. The Friars are behind as we head into this timeout. Stay tuned for more basketball action right here on ESPN. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. They go into the low block. Turnover committed by the freshman. The small forward takes the feed. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Launches the three. Scorches the net with a J. Working it around the perimeter. About six minutes remaining in the game clock. From the corner, nails the jumper. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Whoa! Wonder why he shot that one. And we'll head back down to the other end. And let's take a look at a player who's really having a good game here tonight. He's a PTP, Brad, a prime-time performer, a really talented kid. He knows the game and is showing everyone how much he loves playing. Tries for two. He nails the bucket. They work the perimeter. Goes up for two. Drains the shot. Didn't look like anything was going to keep him from the basket there, Dick. Well, he spotted an opening, and he just absolutely great first step, and he exploded to the goal. 
off the glass and no good. About five minutes remaining for the bucket. Goes. The Hoyas are in a great position with the time and score on their side, and they're going to have to play more in the half court now, Dick. Hey, these guys aren't known for being a half court team. However, at this point, with the time and score where it is, it'd be smart for them to have longer offensive possessions, which keep the clock running. The Friars might be in a little bit of trouble here, Dick. I think it's time to ditch any default strategy in hopes of getting some quick baskets and some easy scores. Hey, Brad, they have to increase the tempo and start pressing. Basically do the things they aren't used to doing. Their backs are against the wall. Lobs it. Kicks it out. They get an open three. He's taking too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. Up and inside. Four minutes left on the game clock. Oh, what a high rise of great vision. The fans love it. What a terrific play. Cross court. Two. Gets the J to fall. The young man cut back door and the pass was right on time. Hey, when you can mix teamwork and execution, you get plays like that, Mr. Nestler. Looking for a good shot. The man can't escape. The man can't get past it, Brad. He missed. The point guard gets the ball. The Hoyas are looking to go man-to-man -man here and lock things down. This press is so special. It really brings out the most of the players because it's a man-on-man -man challenge. You get right in the face of that offensive player and really pressure the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And the fans are going wild. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Tries for two. Rims out. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Goes up for two. Lays it up. This one might go down to the final buzzer. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Dick, I think they're going to fall back into a 1-3-1 one, one zone defense here. The Friars set up into their zone motion offense. Hey, one thing that works well against zones is overloading the side. Overload the side and force the defense to shift out of their desired position. On the left side. Looking for a good shot. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. We approach 10 seconds now on the shot clock. He launches a three. Knocked it down. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. Whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Let's check out this three-pointer one more time, Dick. Trying to execute on the inbounds. Gave it up. About a minute remaining in the game clock. He is going to the line. First shot is good.
takes the second shot. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place will go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. to shoot. Tries for two. Two with a lay-in. And we've got a pause in the action. More NCAA basketball coverage coming up right after this. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. Looks like they're going to drop into a 1-3-1 zone defense here. He tries to knock down the three. He misses the J. Well, it's time to start fouling. they got to stop the clock, Dick. Foul, and that stops the clock again. This moment is brought to you by State Farm. And the clock stopped with a foul. Ball coming in from the sideline. Now they work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. He nails the bucket. Pushes it up. He shoots from outside, and Dick, no one can really find the touch from beyond the arc. Hey, this is one of those nights that no matter how open you are, you just can't put it in, baby. The Friars are in the bonus. He goes to the free throw line. Misses the first shot. Pushes it up. Georgetown walks away as the victor in this very good matchup. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.